Now back to the elections as we wait for another batch of results to come in any minute now. For Proposition HH, the AP has called it for no. And for Proposition II, if we can move to those numbers now, a commanding lead here with the uh, voters in favor of Proposition II. And let's look at the race for Denver Public Schools Director at large. Right now, John Youngquist is, has a very big lead at 63% ahead of the other two candidates. Finally to Aurora, where we've been watching this race with incumbent Mayor Mike Kaufman, who has maintained a pretty resounding lead over Juan Marcano, 56% to 37%. Joining us tonight in studio now is Colorado State Representative Leslie Harrod. She's a member of the Democratic Party and represents the 8th District which covers Northeast Denver. And yes. we so appreciate you being yes. here tonight. We want to talk about HH first. What didn't voters like about HH? What happened here? You know, this this is a pretty tough one, I think, for the Democrats and the legislature and the governor as well. I think voters were confused by the ballot measure. There was a lot of misinformation, even disinformation, that was put out about the measure. And right now, Colorado voters said, no, we want something that's easy to understand, and we want a reduction in our property taxes. We also want to talk about Proposition II. Now, this would allow the state to keep millions of extra tax dollars from nicotine products in order to fund the uh, Colorado preschool program. Yes. Voters seem like overwhelmingly right now they're supporting this measure. Why do you think that is? Yeah, the, the preschool program is a beloved measure in Colorado. Um, having access to preschool is important for a, a lot of families that are struggling and thinking about whether to go back to work, where to put their child for child care. This is a benefit to be in Colorado. Colorado is to have access to good early childhood education. It's something that we've put our marker down in the sand on here in Colorado and we know it works. So what do you think now with these two propositions and yeah. the voters completely uh, just not seeing eye to eye on both of these issues. What does that say about Colorado voters right now? I think they want a simple measure. They want to be able to understand it simply and they want to understand where the money is coming from. From Proposition II, we see the money coming out of uh, tobacco uh, it taxes and the increase there. This one, it, it's a little bit different. Does it come out of my pocket? Does it not come out of my pocket? Who is funding uh, the property tax relief? And I think they were just confused as to how they're going to see um, a difference. And when you add in the Tabor refunds, people were not sure if they were actually going to come out on top or not. So you're saying the language in the ballot was actually a very confusing because I know we got a lot of questions from viewers right. about what does this mean for me? Absolutely. It was confusing. And as many tools that were out there to say you're going to, you know, you're going to save this much money on your property taxes, which, by the way, our property values have increased substantially here in Colorado. We're seeing a 40 percent increase over the median uh, just in the past few years. That is having a huge impact on people's pocketbooks. And they're seeing that increase uh, and they're worried about it coming up. And so I think what we're seeing are is people saying we want the relief but we want to understand where it's coming from we don't want to necessarily say that it's all coming from um, Tabor instead we want to understand how is it gonna how is it gonna provide relief for my um, for my payment my taxes and then also I think we have to talk about the renters as well okay but what is the state legislature then going to do to provide relief to those homeowners I think that's a great question I don't think as Democrats we can just say well you didn't pass HH so uh, sorry about it you yeah. know look at these increases that are coming uh, I think we're gonna have to over the next couple days have really tough conversations about whether or not we go into a special session and what type of relief we're able to offer voters but in my opinion we have to go back we have to get the work done and we have have to figure out a way to uh, decrease the the uh, amount that our voters are going to be spending on their property taxes back in the coming the, years. Back to the drawing board. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. All right, Leslie, thank you. Thank Still you. a lot to talk about, so we'll continue this conversation a little Absolutely. later in the show.